My father's lying there under a tree, and he's in the middle of nowhere. He has a punctured lung oh. and a cracked rib. He can barely talk, and what he says is, it's a baby, go. I mean, am I wrong to think that there's something worthwhile in a man who would do that? You put your, your finger on the problem with your father, darling. Craig can be counted on to do some unexpected, gallant thing that will buy him ages, of months of time, or he can be the awful wretch that he really is. You're just like Dusty. You can't understand how it hurts to have someone talk about your father like that. Dusty gave it to you straight, huh? You're both so sure. So self-righteous. Oh. But my father, the thing about it, he he's never pretended to be perfect. Well, I mean, you know, drunks can be really, really, really sorry and keep on drinking. Look, I should check out the hospital. I'm sorry, honey. I'm really, I'm really sorry. I don't mean to pile this on you, but as a matter of fact, it's true that Dusty and I can get rather shrill about your father. But it's only because we're trying to get through to you. Because we care about you. I mean, and we want to protect you. I am not an idiot. <laughs> no, but you're a hell of a nice kid. That makes you vulnerable. Now, let's just look at your whole life a different way, all right? Look at what you have. You're going back to the hospital. You love the hospital. You have your internship. You have your Dusty. You have a straight path. Now, what's that look all about? I... Dusty. Well, I certainly wouldn't say I have Dusty. Well, I thought you could have. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not. You know what? He may have a point about my father, but I am not, not interested in a guy who gives me ultimatums about my own family. You're so single-track when it comes to Dusty. You know, my father's fault are all published on the front page of the paper. But Dusty Donovan has a few faults of his own, and he was not put on this planet to control my life. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Look, you're exhausted. I'm exhausted. We're all exhausted. I'm a little tipsy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. You're worried. And so is Dusty. And he's very right to be. I'm scared my father's back. I'm scared of what's going to happen. You and Dusty, my mother, and any of 1,200 other people are always on hand to warn me about Craig Montgomery. You said you were scared. I just, I just love him. Last night, shoving me and Johnny out of the way, he didn't hesitate for a second. I, I think at that moment, I, so part of me knew it was him because his love for us, it's, it's so strong, it's so real that you can feel it without even trying. Do you know what it's like to have someone love you like that? It's a powerful thing. And I'm not sure I can fight it. When he was in prison, I felt like for the first time, there, there were finally boundaries that I didn't have to watch him, watch myself. I could just live my life. You all say, just turn your back on him. What if I just can't do it? I hadn't gone there for a sec. I'm so proud of you. It was scary, and you were brave. Well, we're going home now, just the two of us. <laughs>